morning morning you join me at um, a different resa today uh, just got here it's just got half eight i've just got my rods in the first swim's quite easy this is a water that i come last year last winter um, a few times didn't do that good really had a few jacks lost a good one but um, that's about it really that's all happened had a bit of a crap winter last year so uh, as you can see the first swim cars there stuff's not even unpacked and where are my rods my rods are down there somewhere wherever they are there's my net I can't see them but yeah so we're on the first spot of the day I've just, uh, just got my rods in and my net set up and then I'm going to load my barrow up ready and then I'm going to move down to the bridge and then if that's not successful successful, I'm going to go to the other side and like a sandbanky bit where we've had a few couple of jacks out before so I'm just fishing spots that I've actually caught in today um, there isn't tons of fishing spots here to be honest I wouldn't have got here there's, there's somebody fishing just up from me on the, on the damn wall um, so yeah so let's see how we get on I'm just going to get all my gear sorted and then we'll have a catch up So this is the first spot, as you know, they just said my car's right behind me, a um, couple of guys there uh, want a bit of a bait boat out there and they're just fishing on the dam wall there. Uh. So later, in about two hours, go up there, up that path and then that takes you down to the, the bridge down the bottom end, so that's where I'm going next but let's see if we can nick a fish here if not hour and a half two hours I'm off it's 20 to 10 not a sausage uh, not even had a bleep nothing seems absolutely dead now might just not be by time yet but the guys to me right have had nothing I've not seen any little fish any bits any ducks anything so I think it's, I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then I'm going to have a move. I'm going to go to the near the bridge I think, or that bank anyway. So give it 5 or 10 minutes now and we'll have a little move and I'll catch up with you once, once we've moved spots. Fish are bubbling here. This could be the right spot. There's, there's bream or whatever it is fizzing away so hopefully can't pick them up the pike won't be too far away anyway fishing in the second spot of the day I've only been here what 10 minutes and like I just said I'm not joking it's fizzing up everywhere so the pike have got to be here they've just got to be as I'm looking now I can see one two three four spots fizzing up with fish so, just hope you like the dead baits today. Well, been here half an hour fishing and a bit of carnage. Rod's gone, left rod. And I've got in the sling, it could be a new PB again. It's very close if not. I'm going to weigh it in a minute, but well, should rest in it. Look at that bad boy or bad girl. It's massive. I think it's a new PB, but if it's not, it's going to be very close. That is a huge fish. Wow, that's a fish. Is that a fish? Yeah. Wow, look how big it is. <laughs> the biggest one I've had as well. <laughs> that is incredible, well done. Did you catch it all the way over there or have you caught it over No, there? Just, just in front of me, yeah. Right, okay. Wow, well, yeah. amazing. Can you see it, bud? There we go. It's alright. New PB, 18 pound two. There we go. Look at that. What an absolute belter. Whoa. Been, re been resting for a lot, for a while. Some lads have helped me out with the pictures, so thanks to them. Yeah. Look at that cracker. Because you can go that way through the town, but I don't know. Show the other side. I'm going to get it back because 
been out a while, well it's not been out a while, it's been in cradle for a good while. Yeah, there we are. Love it. Right, let's get it back. <laughs> Well, that's a pike, is it? Aye. <laughs> oh, I've never seen one. Oh, no, I've never seen one. Look at that. Wow, it's got massive teeth on it, hasn't it? Yeah, no sticky hand in it. Well, well vicious. Come on, look at it. Just come on, look at it. God, it's so rare to see one of these, isn't it? Hey, the hair on fish room, so. For me, it is. Look at this. Bit of it. <laughs> wow. Sorry, it's going back in. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, I'm absolutely buzzing. I can't, can't get my head around it, yeah. PB, last, was it last week or week before? Last week. Last time I was out anyway, I had that six, uh, 16 and a half, and I just had an 18 too. What a, what a winter I'm having, and just pure, just dropping on, just dropping on. I say it's skill, but I don't think it is. I think I've just dropped on when I've come fishing, and I think the, it helped that the, um, the winter's definitely milder than last year. So the fish are still moving around a little bit, but yeah, buzzing, absolutely buzzing with that. I just, I just forgot how busy it is here. It just, just it must be a hundred people walk past me today plus. So yeah, I'm going to crack on fishing in this swim now because the, the fish are still bubbling up everywhere. So I'm going to carry on fishing here and see what the day brings. As we were just talking, a pike has just come up in front of me face. I don't know if you can see them bubbles. Oh, there they are. Yeah, that's a pike that. It, was, it wasn't a jack either, it looked alright. Because it's gone quiet and I've just seen that fish and... Oh, just had a bleep. Oh, <laughs> anyway as I say, because it's gone quiet and um, I've just seen that pike near the surface, I've just stuck a bung on. Brought one of my bottom baits in and just got a bung on, um, put it about five foot deep and just see um, if we can entice one. Oh, could be a run on my right rod. Come on, I think it's going. Come on. Oh, rod tip's banging. I'm gonna go for it. Another bit of a weird one that. Um, reeled in slowly. It felt like there was something was on the end of my bait, but uh, nothing connected. I just felt something, but it is quite rocky down there, so it could have just been a rock. But I'm not too worried, because I know there's loads of jacks in here. So it could have just been a really small jack. It's done it to me before on here. I've had about three runs in five minutes and I've finally got it. It's been about a pound. So I'm not too fussed about missing one. Hopefully I'll get a few more runs. So while it's quiet, I'll, um, I'll show you my setup, what I use. And to be honest, I've had probably 95, 99% of my fish on it. Um, dead basic, that's why I absolutely love pike fishing. So basic, the hard part is finding the fish. So yeah, I'll show you what I'll show you my setup now. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have a little leader on, Florida Carbon leader, and then all it does goes down to um, a running ring and a buffer bead and then, uh, then I have um, I fish circle locks I've done for a couple of years now so you have 80 pound flora car because you can hear all the kids screaming in the background uh, circle lock 
and then dead bait of choice with a little loom band hooked on so that's basically my fishing for nearly all my pike fishing it's so basic it's brilliant just just got to remember not to strike with the circle hooks anyway I'm gonna get a cast back in now anyway see if we can nick one before home time Well, into my last, what, half hour of fishing, I think. Uh, I've just chucked my rods out for the last time. Can't see me getting one. It, the confidence has gone now. Fish have stopped bubbling and, I don't know, just looks dead and it's gone cold. Just doesn't feel right at the moment. But So I don't think we're going to get another run, so I'm signing out. Uh, good, good day's fishing. One, well, two runs. That was a little tiny jack that because I've seen the teeth marks on the dead bait. The one that dropped the one that dropped it. So two runs. One landed in a new PV. Can't ask for more than that, can you? Could have took that this morning before I come out. I was expecting a couple of jacks out of here today, to be honest. But yeah, good 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 session. Like I said, um, just been talking to my mate and we're we're off work on Thursday. I'm looking at the weaver or the ribble. He's been out today scouting a couple of places out and on the weaver, so we might uh, give that a go. It'll probably end up in a blank, but it's nice. It's nice to do some different piking anyway. So that's that's all for me, I think. So I'll uh, if I get anything on the river, I'll let you know and do a little vid. So thanks for watching. See you next time.